we're really excited to be the first project being built in Utah. And this would not be possible without Utah Clean Energy and different organizations and working to figure out a solution that actually we could build a project like this. We're sitting here in Iron County in Parowan uh, on the Utah Red Hills Renewable Energy Park um, 80 megawatt AC solar project. That's the first project in the state of this magnitude. It's a single access tracker project. We're actually putting it into the grid and allowing it to go into the energy mix that everybody uses here. Renewable energy in the grid has positive effects because it doesn't adversely affect the rate payers. The price remains steady for 20 years. There's no price volatility that occurs as a result of our solar power plant. Additionally, the cost for solar has come down significantly over the last five years to make it to the point where it's economical against conventional fuels in almost every market around the world. And what's really fundamental about this is that we have been committed to both the local community and the state from a job creation perspective. All the subcontractors we've used are from Utah. The direct employees are all from Utah. These are real jobs that are being created in rural Utah. It's been a, a, a joint venture process really from the very beginning of bringing all the different stakeholders in, landowners, county commissioners, Utah Clean Energy, and different organizations, and working to figure out a solution that actually we could build a project like this, which we've finally done and, and are extremely happy about. What really drives projects in Utah and what's going to drive the clean energy economy in Utah is the engagement of industry, because that's what this is about, bringing new clean tech industries to Utah. It's important that yeah. people understand that it's not just solar, it's a power plant, we're producing electricity. This is a culmination of about eight years of development, and this would not be possible without Utah Clean Energy and all the stakeholders that we have had throughout the last seven years and into the future going forward.